Now comes the part of being put to the test on the spot, and that is show and tells. Um, I'm not sure how many show of tells you've done. Um, um, could share your experience of doing a show and tell. Um, how is it set up um, on the TS4U platform? Like, how do you, I guess, present a show and tell? And how do you think um, this concept of doing show and tells after you learn something helpful? Um, it's definitely helpful because it's almost like a, a recording a, um, the evidence that you are learning and um, because you are and you're doing it on you're doing that part on your own and you're going through examples and you're saying it out loud and you're taking it in at the same time that you're explaining it. And you might, for me, I might even um, think about it more on a different level because instead of just doing the work and um, and then you're done, you kind of, you're just putting more um, uh, memory into it, your, your memory, because you're, uh, you're explaining it and, and you're doing the, the code um, hands-on. Awesome. I agree. And um, um, just out of curiosity, um, how are, you know, the show and tells presented? Um, how do they go? Is it something that is just between a coach and the student or is it to others? Like, is it kind of streamed for others viewing? I just wanted to know how that goes right now. Um, for me, I'm on an odd schedule. So um mine tend to be late at night on west coast time because that's when i'm available um so it's just um it's mostly just me and my coach and um maybe a few other people but um it, it gets recorded and at, for the at, in the beginning i was um camera shy i st oh i mean i always am but i was really like oh, oh. <laughs> like scared on the first one or two but um but yeah you just uh you just get used to it and um and yeah you you present your you have there you have to use an agenda to um, outline what your presentation is going to be uh, almost like a marketing presentation except it's about it's you presenting what you've learned in that module and um, you go over the concepts um, you define the concepts and then you demonstrate them. And so you're actually doing code and the code is being, you know, as you're doing it, it's being recorded and uh, while you're doing the code and explaining it. I completely agree. Um, just to, you know, give a contrast, um, at least when um, I was a part of it previously at Tears for You, it had to be, I guess, it was streamed for, I guess, public viewing. So I guess your peers could, wa could watch it or be present while you um, performed um, your show and tell, which of course is a good thing. It helps to um, be ready to speak in front of others and present what you have learned to others. But at the same time, you know, again, it's a matter of flexibility and a matter of what you're comfortable with to ensure that you're learning properly. Some people could, you know, get nervous or camera shy or, you know, stumble upon problems or get nervous that can prevent them from a smooth flowing uh, presentation. And I like that now there's this option to present only to your coach and it doesn't have to be to others or just, you know, tailoring things according to a student's needs or what they're comfortable with, with the priority of making sure that they're learning effectively in the first place. So that's really awesome to know. Thank you so much, Kim, for sharing all that.